Well, a big hello from Dallas, Texas. I've had a lot of questions about Texas, COVID, where we are. First of all, happy holiday. Happy 4th of July. For all my patients, my followers, and of course, if you're from the U.S., that means Independence Day. It's an incredible celebration. But above all, I want to also tell you about some of the myths versus the facts about what's going on in the United States. Let me give you some facts, seven facts. First, we opened in, in Texas on May 4th. We've now been open for two months. We have had a seamless recovery for both our patients. We've stayed safe. We COVID test everybody. We do it right. We follow all the CDC guidelines, both in our clinic and our offices. That's very important to do. We do it as if every patient has COVID, even though we test all our operative patients. Fact, there is a surge, not a spike in the U.S. today of COVID cases. Another fact, we also have more COVID cases than any country in the world. However, we also test more than any country in the world. Hence, Texas. During the reemergence, we also have expected a surge. That's normal as we reopen. Fact, our hospitals have adequate PPE. We have adequate hospital beds. Another fact is the hospitalizations are going up. However, the people that have COVID tend to be younger in the 30-year age room. So the severity is not as much as it has been in the past. Another fact, however, very important, the death rate remains steady or even declining around the United States. That's very important. However, we must stay diligent. We must stay vigilant. We must stay to protect our patients, ourselves, and our family. So what do you need to do? Well, we all need to wear our masks. We must social distance six feet or more, wash our hands, and just use common sense. We know that common sense is not common, but we've got to do that because in the fall, we all want to watch college football. I want to watch the Cowboys at Cowboy Stadium, not on TV. I'm sure you do as well. So stay safe. Enjoy. God bless.